my chicken processing disclaimer to you. Sharp objects will be used in this. If you do not want to see where your food comes from, then don't watch this video, because this is food and this is where it comes from. Thank you very much. Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today is a really special day here on the farm. We've got a lot of stuff going on. We're gonna be processing our chickens today. We have 48 chickens that we're gonna be working with. They're Cornish Cross chickens from Meyer Hatchery. And first of all, I wanna thank a couple companies for helping us out with this. They gave us some good deals on some products. Wright Farm Products or coopsandmore.com and Meyer Hatchery. We've been working with Meyer Hatchery this whole time and we've got a whole setup going right here we'll walk around the setup we'll tell you about what we're getting ready to do and we'll show you a few things hope you learned something today all right All right, let's start at station number one. So these are quote unquote hugging cones or killing cones. But basically the thought process is we drop our birds down in here. They kind of get a little bit of a euphoric feeling as they're laying upside down. The blood kind of rushes to their heads and then we will dispatch the birds. These buckets right here are for collecting the blood so we don't have a big bloody mess. We can spread that blood on our garden. It's good for our garden. Right here is our scalding pot. This scalding pot is warming up right now and it's ran off of propane. We picked this up from Coops and More. There'll be links down in the video description. And also we have the Pro Plucker. This is the extra large Pro Plucker. All right here's the on switch. We'll turn this dude on, show you what we got. Really, really cool setup. So you guys will get to see this thing in action. The feathers spit right out here. I've got to get myself a tote to put right there to catch the feathers so we can dispose of those. Now, this is an economy plucker, and we'll show you how we use the economy plucker. We'll kind of show you the difference. So if you don't have 500 bucks to spend on this guy, you can spend a little less money, and this is available at Meyer Hatchery. Now, from these points here, the plucking stations, we'll go over here and we'll take the feet off the birds, and we'll gut them. We'll take out the gizzards and the livers, and then we'll drop the birds over in these three bay sinks, and they'll be full of ice. So we'll have some nice cold water. All these bays will be full of water. Next step in the process, we're gonna go over to this table. We'll have this table set up, and these are bags, they're non-BPA bags or BPA-free bags, and zip ties, and straws. And we'll show you how all that works. That'll be the last thing that we do, and then we'll drop them in the freezer. We also have a fan running right here to keep us cool and a nice canopy. So it's early, early in the morning here on a Tuesday morning. My dad's coming up here. I got all this stuff set up. Well, most of this stuff set up. We've had storms at night, so I took the canopy down last night, but I've had all this stuff set up for, I'm gonna say a day or so. And we've got a few more things that we need to do. We've gotta go get some dog crates out of our tobacco barn so that we can get our birds. So we'll walk you over here to the birds. Birds aren't too far from the area where we're doing our uh, processing, but we don't want them right up on there. So we'll be, capturing the birds and taking them on the gator over there. We'll put them in a crate. Now here is our setup for our birds. If you haven't seen the video on this mobile coop, this PVC mobile coop, it's up here somewhere, all right? Lots of cool information, guys. Be sure you click that like button, subscribe to the channel. We've got tons of awesome stuff here on the farm. So right here are our birds. They're looking good, they're looking healthy. They've been moved around on pasture pretty much their whole lives. They look crowded in there. They are fairly crowded in there, but you gotta think about it. These birds have had more square footage of grass to eat than any bird you've probably ever tasted. Beautiful, beautiful morning here on the farm, guys. Beautiful, sun's peeking through the trees. Right up here to our tobacco barn where we've got our dog kennels and dog crates. Beautiful. Here's our tobacco barn. This is our corn garden. We've got a monster corn garden up here. This is our corn garden. This is Silver Queen corn. And our goats are right over there going by. Eventually, we'll probably convert this tobacco barn into a cabin. But for now, it's a storage cabin. All right, so the next step here is to capture the chickens. And they're all kind of thirsty and hungry, so shouldn't be too bad to capture them. They don't move very fast. And we'll put them in these crates here on the back of the gator. Here you go, little buddy. So let's talk about these birds so you guys know a little bit about what's going on. These are a Cornish crossbird. They're ready for slaughter in eight to nine weeks. 
Sometimes people slaughter them in the four and five week range. These birds will dress out somewhere around six to eight pounds a piece. They're a big, big bird. They're a very robust bird. They're a very tender and delicious bird. And what we've been doing is moving them on pasture. And basically the pasture has been our front yard because I wanted to show you guys that you can do this in town. You don't have to have a big place. I'm gonna say we're on a 16th of an acre right here and we basically just moved them around. There's not a lot of smell. There aren't a lot of flies. There's a little bit of dead grass here and there, but that stuff will come back and it will just pop. So it's gonna save you on lawn fertilizer and your birds will taste delicious. Let's get them over here and get started. Folks, I want to be abundantly clear that these are not our pets. These are our meat birds. We have chickens that lay eggs that have names like Petunia and Daisy. And this is not Petunia and Daisy. This is our food for our family. And this should dress out somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 pounds plus meat for our year. It'll be cool. And I'm trading my pops a few birds for helping me. It's going to be awesome. Good family activity here. And we're living off the land. The purpose of these birds is living off the land. All right, so this is our scalding pot. We can do two chickens at a time in the scalding pot and two chickens at a time in here in the plucker successfully. I think you could do three or four chickens in the plucker, but it just kind of bogs the machine down a little bit and we're running off an extension cord. So I would say it would do four if you were right next to a receptacle, but we're gonna stick with two at a time. So we'll dip two and then we will pluck two and then we'll process two and we'll keep this little assembly line going. If you had four people, you could really, really roll with this. Uh, our 50 chickens is probably gonna take us somewhere in the neighborhood of two and a half to three hours. All right, so these are our birds and we're gonna slide them down into our chicken hugging cones right here. And basically you just slide the bird down into the cone, make sure his head comes out the bottom and then move on to the next cone and the next bird, okay? These birds will flip over in the cones if you don't watch. There's not really a perfect size cone for these birds. So this is the turkey cone, the extra, extra large, and this is the extra large size. So the extra, extra large is a little too big and the extra large is a little too small. Now we put the birds in these and their heads are poking down through the bottom. My father is over here pulling their heads down. This kind of gives the birds, I guess, a little feeling of euphoria. The blood kind of rushes to their heads and basically we'll just cut them and that's it. We're not going to show you the killing, but you get it. I think you get it. All right, so the birds are in the killing cones. This is the knife that we use, and you can get this knife at Meyer Hatchery. It is a chicken killing knife. It's specifically designed for killing chickens. Pretty cool. So we'll reach down here. We'll turn on our plucker right here, and we'll get you a little bit better footage as time goes on with this plucker. We'll go ahead and take the lid off of our scalding pot, and we're at 145 degrees. We can scald two birds at one time in this scalding pot to fully submerge the birds for about 45 seconds, less than a minute for sure. The best way to tell is get a hold of the bird's feet right here, and when the skin starts coming off the feet just like that, you're ready to go. You can drop them over in here, just like so. Now, it's important that we run cold water down in here and that helps to release the feathers a little bit better. That cold water will open the bird's pores up and help to release the feathers. It looks like a very violent process, but it doesn't harm the meat at all. We'll turn off our plucker and this is what we have. Beautifully clean bird. What a time saver. We'll hand this off to Grandpa Stony Ridge. Here's what I'm experiencing and I'll tell you about it. With the scalder, you're gonna have to put water in it every time you scald two or four birds. So every time we scald four birds, we probably gotta add somewhere in our neighborhood of a quart of water, maybe a little bit more. We fill it up till it's about that far, maybe four inches from the top. Now, our birds that we're plucking have to be sure that we're constantly rinsing. That's what helps release the feathers. Okay. Now, as we rinse, the feathers are coming out the bottom of this machine, and we'll get you a close-up detail of that also. We have the water turned on high heat right now, and we're just gonna start working our way through these birds. This process is really, really gonna move along very fast. What you have to understand is you can't leave your birds in too awfully long, or you'll cook the skin. You don't wanna cook the skin, you wanna find that fine line where the skin releases and cleans your birds. You'll find there's a specific setting on your scalder that will help you a whole lot, so. Again, we'll scald them for about eh, 45 seconds. Reach in here with our little fire poker and kind of check the skin on the feet. If it's starting to come off the skin on the feet, the bird is ready to go. Take both birds, 
and we'll throw them in the plucker and then we'll hit them with cold water. All right, we're gonna show you how we do a bird here. Basically, take and cut a little slit right here. And these knives are really good. This is a Dexter brand knife here. Very good pairing knife. You get in here and you pull out his craw. We call it the craw, but it's the esophagus and the trachea. So you get in here with your hand and you just kind of tear it out. It comes right out. Then you go over here and we'll take the feet off. And we go right at this knuckle and you just cut right there, pull up through. That's one foot gone. We save the feet. We make broth out of the feet, or my dad will save the feet. I'm not that hungry. And we'll cut here in the belly, open them up just like so. Push. Instead of cutting, push through, okay? And we'll get in here, we'll pull out the intestines very, very simply. That esophagus, the rest of it all comes out in here is your liver. Be careful not to bust the gallbladder. I'm going to pull the liver off. Everything just pulls apart. This is really, really soft and pliable. We've got a specific pan for the liver. Put it over here. Then we have our gizzard. And we save the gizzards and we eat the gizzards. Some people don't eat gizzards. There's the gizzard. We put that in a specific pan that Mrs. Stony Ridge is bringing out right now. And then we'll cut out the rectal part here and what we call the tutor or the parson's nose is what I'm told it's called in Europe. So we'll cut that tail feather portion out and we'll throw it away and that's it our chicken is good we'll rinse him off make sure we got all the feathers out and that's it processed chicken awesome we'll show you one more time in detail I'm gonna cut right at that top little knuckle right there on his leg cut that foot off again cut that foot off very very easy we'll start with the feet then we'll go right here and we'll cut a tiny slit here and make sure your knife is sharp Butcher's worst enemy is a dull knife. So get in here. We haven't fed these birds for somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 hours and therefore their craw or this area right here of their esophagus is empty. So we'll pull that out. You see a little grass in there, that's okay. This is his esophagus and trachea. Now you wanna access the inside of the bird, go in very lightly, then take your finger and push. Okay, oh, got a little, little manure there, but that's okay. All right, you want to reach in. Boy, that manure smells great. We're going to rinse that off first. If you get manure, just that simple. Just rinse him off. So here is our liver. Liver goes over there. Here is our gizzard. Our gizzard contains all of the feed that the bird needs to grind up. In other words, the bird doesn't have teeth, so he uses the gizzard as his teeth. And that's full of grit. Now, reaching back in here a little bit further, we always save the heart. So there's the heart. We'll put it in there with the livers and gizzards because it's delicious also. And we'll rinse our bird off. Okay, good deal. There we go. This one had a little bit of grass in it. That's okay, this is normal. This is real world, real life. We'll cut a little slit right here. We'll take the foot and we'll tuck him in right here. We'll take the other foot and we'll tuck him in right here. Woo. Come on, little feet. There we go. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't work so good. <laughs> but this is real world, real life. That didn't work. <laughs> it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. We also have to take out the rectal organs and just cut down right through here. And boom. Out comes the rectal organs. Beautiful bird. If you're working in a two-man station, it's best to go and try to get all the feathers off that you possibly can before you hand it over to the man that's going to be doing the gutting portion of this thing. So feathers just come out so super duper easy on these birds. Really, really awesome. And we found that the birds, when they're in the plucker, it slings them so fast that it tends to drop the head off of the bird. So we went ahead and took the whole head off when we uh, used the killing cones over here to dispatch the bird. Check those feet. When the skin starts coming off the feet like this, right there, you know it's ready for the plucker. Okay. I'll post a link to these nitrile gloves if you guys want to get yourself a pair for doing this stuff. They're awesome for working on your car too. Great stuff. They have a grip to them so you can hold on to stuff. We'll run our water in. The feathers will come out right here.
cleaning these birds. Very good. All right. I reach down and I turn it off. And here are our cleanly plucked birds. Super duper awesome. So again, we go from the cones to the scald, to the pluck, to the gut, and into the sink with cold water and ice. And over here are our livers and our gizzards. Now guys, we're gonna get busy. We're gonna work our way through these birds. And at the end of it, we'll show you how we seal them in these bags. They're really neat. You just basically dip them down in hot water at 185 degrees and zip tie it. We'll show you the trick to that. That'd be pretty cool. And I'll kind of give you an overall review of how all this worked out at the end of the day here. So stay tuned, all right? So we've got our birds over here and they're all on ice in the sink and we're almost done with everything to do with this process. We're gonna run some cold water over them and put them in their bags for the freezer. We're gonna drop our birds in these shrink type BPA free bags. And we got these bags at Coops and Moore and we got some from Meyer Hatchery too. So they both carry these bags very, very handy. So you drop the bird in the bag, it goes into 185 degree water with this little straw, just like that. Then you twist it up on the bird and then you put a zip tie right around it, zip it closed, and your bird is vacuum sealed in a bag, just like you'd buy it at the grocery store. So check it out. So we've got the bird in the bag. We'll drop him down in here in the hot water, 185 degree water. That's what it, you gotta bob him up and down a little bit. Bring him back out, twist him tight, throw a zip tie on. Good deal. Pull out your straw. All right, just like you'd get it in the grocery store. All right, once again, birds in the bag. Take our straw, drop our straw down in there. You need kind of a stiff straw. Ours are a little flimsy for what we're doing here. Now, you drop the bird down in, drop him down in the 185 degree hot water, and we're using an old broomstick handle to push him down in there, and you pull him out. And the vacuum bag just seals right closed on him. Just like that. And roll him tight. Get your straw out. And get your zip tie on it. Good deal. Snug as a bug, just how you'd buy it in the store. That's it, we're wrapping it up. I wanna give you a quick overview of everything and what I felt like. The killing cones, I've already put them up here on the top of the hill. The killing cones did a really good job. They were fairly easy to clean. The stainless steel one was a little bit easier and the double XL was a little bit better, a little bit easier to work with than the XL. So we could get the chicken's head down a little bit better. The scalder has done an awesome job. I can't say enough about it. The plucker did good. The helper did real good. <laughs> everything just worked out great the bags are really neat I would suggest if you use the plucker be assured that you're gonna spend a couple hours cleaning up after you get done with this job the shrink bags work great they're non BPA you can get them at Meyer hatchery and coops and more down below will be links to everything used in this video guys thanks a lot I hope you really enjoyed it I hope you learned a lot and if you have any questions post them down in the comments I'd love to hear from you all right we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge farm Woo! All right. Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. <sighs> Chicken. So this is the tabletop economy plucker with from Ducks Industries. I got this at Meyer Hatchery also. This is how you use it. So it basically strips the feathers off and puts them in your mouth.